Deep in the vast expanse of the cosmos, Voyager 2, a pioneer of human exploration, finds itself entangled in a cosmic conundrum that defies explanation and exudes an air of mystique and intrigue. Voyager 2's communication link with Earth suddenly severs, leaving it in eerie isolation within the cosmic void. Isn't this just a technical glitch? Could it be the work of an enigmatic cosmic force, deliberately silencing our interstellar envoy? Moreover, Voyager 2 isn't just mute, it's transmitting cryptic signals back to Earth. These aren't your everyday technical hiccups. They transcend the boundaries of human comprehension and challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Are these transmissions mere anomalies? Or do they carry profound, perhaps extraterrestrial significance? Could they unlock the universe's most deeply held secrets? Amidst the uncertainties of outer space, one fact remains resolute. Voyager 2's cosmic odyssey has embarked on an unforeseen and profoundly enigmatic course. In these, our exploration, we invite you to join us in unraveling the mystique of Voyager 2's shutdown, to contemplate the unfathomable forces at play, and to decipher the riddles concealed within the strange signals it sends back to Earth. The universe beckons, and its secrets await our discovery. But first, let's go back to the beginning. How did Voyager 2 come to be, and what was its original mission? Voyager 2 was born in the golden age of space exploration, when NASA was eager to send probes to the outer planets and beyond. In the early 1970s, NASA realized that a rare alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune would occur in the late 1970s and early 1980s allowing a single spacecraft to visit all four of them by using gravity assists. This technique involves flying close to a planet and using its gravity to boost the speed and change the direction of the spacecraft, saving fuel and time. NASA called this ambitious plan the Grand Tour and envisioned four complex spacecraft to carry it out. However, due to budget constraints and technical challenges, NASA scaled back the plan and decided to launch only two simpler spacecraft derived from the Mariner program. These were named Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 and were designed to explore Jupiter and Saturn in more detail than the Pioneer probes that preceded them. They also had the option of continuing on to Uranus and Neptune if they survived the harsh radiation and debris near Jupiter and Saturn. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977 from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on a Titan III-E Centaur rocket. It was followed by Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977. The two spacecraft were sent on different trajectories, with Voyager 1 taking a shorter but faster path that would allow it to reach Jupiter and Saturn ahead of Voyager 2. Voyager 2 took a longer but more flexible path that would enable it to encounter Uranus and Neptune as well. So. In 1979, when Voyager 2 made its grand entrance at Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, as it approached, the spacecraft unveiled the mesmerizing Great Red Spot, a raging storm that had puzzled astronomers for centuries. But that was just the beginning. Voyager 2 also captured stunning images of Jupiter's intricate ring system and revealed the secrets of its intriguing moons including the volcanic world of Io and the ice-covered oceans of Europa. Jupiter, you put on a show that left us in awe. After taking approximately 19,000 pictures of the colossal planet and transmitting them back to Earth, Voyager 1 continued its exploration of the solar system. In 1981, Voyager 2 continued its odyssey, arriving at the majestic Saturn, the sight of those iconic rings was enough to take anyone's breath away. But Voyager 2 did more than just snap jaw-dropping photos. It delved into the mysteries of Saturn's ring system, revealing the complex structure and composition of these cosmic jewels. And who could forget Titan, Saturn's largest moon, with its thick atmosphere and potential for alien life? Saturn, you're the enigma wrapped in beauty. Our journey took a quirky turn in 1986 as Voyager 2 encountered Uranus, the solar system's oddball. This ice giant spins on its side, making it a cosmic puzzle. 
Voyager 2's observations provided a peek into Uranus's turbulent atmosphere and unique magnetic field, unraveling some of its peculiarities. Uranus, you're the planetary riddle that keeps us guessing. The final act of Voyager 2's planetary tour led us to Neptune in 1989. Here, the spacecraft uncovered the enigmatic Great Dark Spot, a massive storm system raging in Neptune's atmosphere. It also revealed the planet's intense winds, some of the fastest in the solar system. However, when the Hubble Space Telescope later observed Neptune five years later, the spot had mysteriously vanished. Neptune, you're the stormy blue giant that never fails to amaze. But the true marvel came during this journey when Voyager 2 provided us with a glimpse of just how frigid the farthest reaches of our solar system can be. The largest moon of the ice giant, Neptune, known as Trident, claims the title of the coldest place in the solar system, with temperatures plummeting as low as negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 235 degrees Celsius. In comparison, even Antarctica seems relatively mild. Continuing their odyssey, by 2018, both Voyager spacecraft had entered interstellar space, fulfilling NASA's dream of observing our solar system from an external perspective. The spacecraft were never decided to endure the rigors of space for a decade, let alone more than four. Yet, here we are, with these intrepid explorers having ventured through the cosmos for over four decades. Their mission has transcended the boundaries of our solar system, for both Voyagers breached the heliosphere, Voyager 1 in 2012 and Voyager 2 in 2018. But their journey doesn't stop there. The exit from the heliosphere marked a monumental achievement for the Voyagers. To grasp the magnitude of this achievement, it's essential to understand what the heliosphere is. Picture it as a protective bubble enveloping the sun and its planets. It forms as the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, interacts with the interstellar medium. This protective sphere shields our home planet and other solar system components from the harshness of interstellar space. But Voyager 2's journey is not over yet. It is still sending back data and images to Earth, using its radio antenna and its remaining instruments. Moreover, Voyager 2 began transmitting perplexing messages that left NASA scientists scratching their heads in bewilderment. These puzzling data points appeared to originate from the spacecraft's Altitude Articulation and Control System AACS, responsible for monitoring the spacecraft's position in space. The culprit behind this enigmatic message is suspected to be a malfunctioning command issued by another onboard computer. Yet the exact source of the quirky message remains elusive. This challenge, although not entirely unexpected given the spacecraft's age and the depths of space it has traversed, poses a unique dilemma. Even if the malfunctioning computer is identified, repairing it is virtually impossible, as Voyager 2 currently resides some 7.25 million miles away from Earth. No rescue team could bridge such an astronomical gap Interestingly, this isn't the first time these interstellar probes have relayed perplexing messages. In this instance, however, the outcome was more intriguing than a mere system fault. The signal, initially perceived as a faint hum, was actually a trove of data. Upon meticulous examination, scientists managed to update their measurements of the composition of molecules, ionized gases, and atoms inhabiting the vast expanse between the stars. This feat, realized nearly 50 years after the probe's launch, represents yet another triumph in their enduring journey through the cosmos. But, but that is not all. In a puzzling turn of events, Voyager 2, our interstellar explorer, has fallen into a profound silence. Since the fateful date of July 21, 2023, the probe has ceased its usual exchange of commands and data with NASA's deep space network, a sprawling network of colossal radio antennas stationed across the globe. Even more perplexing, Voyager 2 is no longer responsive to the directives of ground controllers. 
This abrupt communication breakdown has left scientists and engineers grappling with the cosmic enigma. However, NASA has successfully re-established full contact with its Voyager 2 probe, achieving this milestone months ahead of schedule. As it turns out, it all started in July, when the wrong crew changed the orientation of the spacecraft, cutting off communications. The probe is programmed to reset its position multiple times each year to keep its antenna pointing at Earth. The next reset is due on 15th of October, which NASA had rested its hopes on if all other attempts had failed. However, a breakthrough earlier, thanks to what NASA aptly calls an interstellar shout, this commanding signal was potent enough to realign Voyager 2's antenna back toward Earth. The journey to regain contact wasn't without its challenges. Voyager 2, positioned billions of miles away from Earth, necessitated 37 hours of meticulous work by mission controllers to confirm the success of this interstellar command. The message was transmitted using NASA's most powerful transmitter under optimal conditions, ensuring precise alignment with the probe's antenna. NASA anticipates that Voyager 2, laden with scientific instruments, will continue along its planned trajectory through the universe. But what lies ahead for this intrepid traveler? How long can Voyager 2 continue its cosmic odyssey? And what fate awaits it in the vastness of space? Voyager 2's power supply is projected to dwindle by 2025, a ticking clock that necessitates difficult decisions. To conserve power, it will have to deactivate certain instruments and systems, gradually severing its connection with Earth. In this moment, Voyager 2 will transform into a silent wanderer, adrift amidst the stars, destined to traverse the interstellar medium for billions of years. Yet, even in its cosmic twilight, Voyager 2 will not fade into oblivion. It carries with it a poignant message from Earth, etched onto a golden record, a testament to our existence. But will anyone find these records? Or are we alone in the universe? Well, that's a completely different question. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button and turn on your notifications. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next.